Here's problem 1211. The figure shows a uniform horizontal beam, length 10 meters, mass 25 kilograms, that is pivoted at the wall, with its far end supported by a cable that makes an angle of 51 degrees with the horizontal. If a person of mass 60 kilograms stands 3 meters from the pivot, what is the tension in the cable? First thing we want to do is make a free by diagram of the beam. Now we know it has weight and we treat that as acting at its center of mass right in the center of the beam and that weight of the beam is equal to uh, 25 kilograms times G which would be 25 times 9.8 which is 245 minutes. We also have the weight of the person and that weight is equal to 60 G mass times G so that would be 60 times 9.8 and that would be 588 newtons. Okay, so we got those two forces. We've got a force of tension acting at a 51 degree from angle from the horizontal. Let's break that up into two components. We'll have a T cosine 51 degrees going to the left and a T sine 51 degrees going vertical. Alright, we also have a reaction force at the pivot and we don't know what that reaction force is but let's give it a vertical and a horizontal component. I got my horizontal component going to the right because my T cosine 51 degrees is going to the left and those are going to have to offset each other because we have no net force in the x direction. Alright, so this is a good free by diagram. I don't know what T is and I don't know what V is and I don't know what H is. So there's three unknowns. I don't know V, I don't know H, and I don't know T. I want to choose a point so I can eliminate most of my unknowns. Now if I choose a point for my rotation, say at the pivot here, call that point A, I will eliminate from consideration this vertical component because its line of action goes through that point so it has no moment arm. I would eliminate the H from consideration because this line of action goes through that point. It would have no moment arm. And then I would also eliminate this T cosine 51 degrees because its line of action goes through that point as well it has no moment arm. It would not cause a rotation. So I only have to consider the torques due to the person, the weight of the beam, and this T sine 51 degrees. And they each have their respective moment arms of 3, 5, and 10. So, that's good to know. If I were to set up the summation of all the torques about A, that would equal 0. Now this T sine 51 degrees is trying to make this thing rotate um, counterclockwise which would be a positive torque by the right hand rule. If you curl your fingers in the counterclockwise direction your thumb would point out of the page in the positive Z direction. These other two torques are trying to make this thing rotate clockwise which will both be negative torques because they're uh, if you wrote if you curl your fingers in that direction your thumb will point into the page which would be a negative Z direction. So we have one positive torque, two negative torques. My first one is a moment arm of 10 times T sine 51 degrees and then I have two negative torques. I got a minus um, 5 times 245 newtons minus 3 times 588 newtons. I want to solve this for T. So T is going to equal 5 times 245 plus 3 times 588 all divided by 10 times the sine of 51 degrees. So if I figure this out, 5 times 245 plus 3 times 588 
is 2,989 and 10 times the sine of 51 is 7.77 That gives me 384.6 newtons. So the tension in the cord is 384.6 newtons. We used it by just using one equation for torque about point A and it was very elegant, very nice way to do this problem.